What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBAsafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. What's up, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable MT and need to get 12 and 0 done, make sure to head up my second sponsor, Rose NBA, on Twitter for a quick, fast, and reliable purchase. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Bugs, back with another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today we have some new content, and we also have a very helpful video for all you guys. So please, before we get into the video, make sure to smash that sub button. Make sure to smash that like button because, dude, it would be greatly appreciated. Um, if you guys do not know... I pulled Blake Griffin last night. Um, it was on Twitter, so make sure to go follow my Twitter because, bro, we're also buying, selling MT, and also doing MT giveaways once we do hit 9K. So please smash that sub button. We're doing a huge MT giveaway um, at 9K, so make sure to go follow the Twitter. But yeah, today's a video of what you should be doing in my team. There's a lot to be doing. First off, I'm going to start off with a couple things. So if you guys don't know um the opal filter was back i actually myself was able to make about 300,000 mt this is my squad i'm running with i have a lot of mt invested in a lot of things but yeah this team is so, not crazy it's pretty decent i would say um definitely could be a lot better but yo there's a lot you should be doing i'm gonna get into it um i'm waiting for these triple threat online things to pop up um wow he's actually 553 with three minutes left but yeah, we did get the new Spotlight Sims. Um, they're coming in packs soon. Don't waste your MT. They're literally trash. But yeah, today we have new Triple Threat players on the board. So now, honestly, what I will be doing is playing Triple Threat all day. Um, if I do get a free Galaxy Opal, I will put up the gameplay. I need a free Galaxy Opal. I need it. I need it. So the new free Galaxy Opal, the fan, whatever, you should 110% be playing Triple Threat today. If you're not playing triple threat today, I do not know what you are doing with your life because to make a, a lot of MT, to get free cards to your collection, you definitely want to be playing triple threat. Triple threat is key because if you're not playing triple threat, you're crazy. Um, the triple threat cards, the boards, they're going to be juice today. They got free pink diamonds. They got free opals on it. And I honestly definitely think you should be on triple threat boards. You're going to make a lot of MT. So what you should you be doing? Hop on multiplayer triple threat. Free galaxy opal is popping up. It's coming out. You guys definitely need to do that. You definitely need to get that free galaxy opal. He's a very good card. Also, so is the pink diamond. He's a 6'5 point guard. So yeah, that card's really good. The Van, whatever his name is, is going to be really good. If I get him, he's going to be rocking right on my bench, bro. He's going to be a solid, solid shooting guard off the bench for free. So yeah, I honestly, uh, my bench is mostly free besides Magic. Red, Red Dino, and Manu literally equal to like 110. Bamba's cheap. Trey, I never use him. And Beasley is um, free as well. So my free squad's looking pretty good. You should definitely be playing Triple Threat. But yeah, let's get into some auction as per usual. So... For the auction, bro, market talk, you guys love it. So, honestly, today's an insanely great day to sell your cards. Um, No good content is out. The market's up a lot. Like, dude, I pulled Blake last night. He's going for four something. I think it's time to sell. You guys should definitely sell your cards today. You have Shaq, sell them today. Whatever you want to do because, bro, something big's coming. Friday, probably a huge prime set with like three to four opals. Three to four opals are going to be really OP. I hope one of them is Giannis. A prime Bucks Giannis would be sick with, I don't know. But they did already drop a big on Kareem, so we shall see. But, yo, we got a big prime set coming. What exactly is it? I have no idea. But what you should be doing is selling your cards. Let's check out the diamond contracts because I know a ton of you guys did invest in diamond contracts. So, actually, let's check that out. Um... Diamond contracts. I got a ton of them for 8k 7k. I actually invested a lot of them I know a lot of you guys. Oh, yeah Also, if you guys have a new bowl, make sure to sell him Diamond contracts are up already. So if you did end up listening to my method, you made a lot of MT a lot of MT Let's see. They're up a lot They're up to 12k if you got all of them like me for 9k and under or 10k and under you're gonna make a minimum of a thousand MT 
you made so much MT. This is what I invested in. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 14 plus all these I actually ended up putting on my players. So all these ones, I put one on Giannis. I put one on Roy. I put one on Blake. I put one on Kareem. So And I put one on Magic. So as you can see, bro, I obviously going to profit. And I still put all those on players. Right now, you can sell for 12K and make that MT. So definitely worth it. Also, bro, if you have Minute Bowl, he's up so much, and I can't believe it. This card is up a ton, a ton. Like, if you guys ain't got him at 40K, you are so lit because this card is up to 70,000. I mean, I kind of told you guys, this card's up to around 60-something. He was 70-something yesterday. He was 40K for a very long time when those Super Packs dropped. 65,000, 60,000, 60,000 MT. Now, he was expensive, more expensive yesterday, but if you do sell him and you sell him now and you got him for 40K like I did, I got a ton for 40K, I ended up selling him for around 60, 55. Um, I should have waited a little longer, but yeah, he's at 60K. If you picked him up for 40K or less, like I told you to, you could make 50, uh, 15, 10 to 15 to 20K off of him clean. So now what you should be doing, like I said, selling your cards. It's simple. If you're not selling your cards, something's wrong with you. Like, honestly, your opals, whatever you want to do. Personally, I am going to sell my cards. Like, all right, actually, this is what I'm going to say why I'm not going to sell my cards. Why I'm not going to sell these cards in particular. I'm actually going to throw out magic, but everyone else is going to stay. Why? Because first off, I got Kareem for free and I don't want to sell him. I just want to keep him there and I have so much MT invested. I have Blake for free. I literally packed Blake and Kareem within the week. I'm keeping both of them. I love both the cards they're staying. And of course, Giannis. As you guys know, I'm the biggest Giannis fan. I'm considering and selling him, but I can't. I literally, I can't. I sold him before, and then I played uh, online, and I, I I lost because I didn't have him. I got him back. I'm now 2-0. I just need him on the squad. But Magic Johnson, if you guys did get some cards like Mellow and Magic and T-Mac... For the low, T Mac was around four something, low four something. He's around five something now, but Magic is up to three plus. Now, if you remember, he was around 240 not too long ago. Now, if you dig in Magic, he's up a lot. This Magic Johnson is up a lot. So, I would 110% recommend you guys do sell. Friday, there's probably going to be a new tall point guard that's OP as hell. So, I would definitely recommend you guys try that out. Vince Carter, MJ, they're up, they're up, they're up, they're around 180, 250, around the new packs drop, uh, let me think, we got Clyde's around the same price, Przingis is up, mine sold for 220 literally yesterday, he's up to 260 now, um, honestly, Blake might continue to go down, so I would recommend selling him if I were you, like I said, I got him for a 10k pack before I went to bed, that was such a W, um, but yo, we got Lonzo Ball, 173. I just really, really, really recommend you guys sell your cards and play TTO. Like, honestly, if you did invest in your diamond contracts, I would recommend waiting. If you have, oh my God, also, if you guys want to go for collector level, personally, I'm going to do so. I'm actually pretty close to Scottie Pippen. I'm going to try to go for collector level. Now, what you guys should be doing if you want to go for collector level right now is probably the best time to do so is everything is so cheap, obviously, besides heat checks. But since some uh, new spotlight sims are out today with the heat checks, I would definitely recommend you do try doing that because right now, man, heat checks are going to go for the low. And I would 110% definitely recommend you guys to hop on the heat check grind because... Trying to snipe out heat checks right now to complete that collector level is hard, bro. There's not a lot of flow in the heat checks. It's definitely just a recommendation for you guys. And yeah, honestly, that's really all I got for the video. Honestly, I just wanted to tell you what you guys should be doing right now. 110% right now. I would hop off the snipes. I would just throw up your cards, keep three cards for TTO and run it. This is my TTO squad. This is what I've been destroying with. I'm actually on the five board. So hopefully once these cards do hop on the boards i will be grinding tto all day trying to get that free opal gameplay for you guys so yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to smash that like button make sure to drop that sub that would be greatly appreciated thank you guys for the support we got fifty-five thousand real-time views which is my all-time high which is unheard of for a channel with 8k so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed have a good one stay tuned for more content peace